here's something I really want to show you. This is a 1977 Chevy C10, but not just any old C10. It's a 454 truck that belongs to Anthony Tartaglia, who he's a guy that's been helping me around the shop when he has a chance. He's a junior in high school, so he has a school schedule, and plus he's a baseball player. So I'm lucky when I have him because he grew up ag, he knows how to work on stuff, and he has the work ethic. So I'm really happy when it's around. He got a whole bunch of stuff done today. And the last thing we're gonna do here today is show you all about this truck. I'm gonna have Anthony just tell his story right now. Okay, Anthony, man, that is a beauty. Where did you get this truck anyway? I mean, where did it come from? So this is my dad's old truck from high school. He bought it, it was basically brand new and he drove it all the way up until the 90s, early 2000s, and then he parked it in my grandma's garage. <laughs> and so two summers ago, I decided that I wanted to drive it as my first truck. So we started working on it and here she is. Uh, you know, your dad drove it in high school and I went to high school with your dad. Did you know that? Yeah, I did. We weren't in the same class. I think he was uh, a year ahead of me or a year behind me. I'm not sure, but man, this truck brings back memories and look at it. It just looks beautiful. Look at that paint work. How come that paint is gleaming like that? Well, because he showed me how to polish paint and I went through the process and... <laughs> it wasn't easy though, was it? No, nope, it was a learning curve. Sure. I know. Buffing paint's almost as hard as doing a real paint job because that probably took, what, a week or so? Yeah, it was around a week. Yeah, a week of hard labor. That's what I sentenced you to. But check it out. It's got the tubular grill, which is really popular back in the day. And... Uh, a lot of guys will go, oh, you got to put the stock grill on there. But man, the nostalgia in me says that just looks right. Yeah, I really like this grill. I yeah, it's cool. Going. It's really super cool. Yeah. Pop the hood, man. Let's check out yeah. what's under there. That, my friends, is what? It's a 454. It is. And uh, it's not a clapped out old 454 from uh, your dad's high school days. What did you do? No, well, basically... We t tore it all apart, we rebuilt it, we gave it a little extra power, and now it feels good at the foot. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it looks nice and clean too. You cleaned up the whole ninja bay, it looks like. Oh yeah, repainted fenders, cleaned everything up. Yeah, yeah. Well, why'd you decide to do all that? Well, I guess it's just uh, reminds me of my dad, and uh, it's really special to me, and I really like working on this truck, I don't know, it's just a lot of yeah. Memories. You could take pride in ownership when you pop the hood and it just looks that nice under there. I mean, there's no grime, there's no grease, there's, I mean, it's mint. Wow. And it's very original looking too. Yeah, that's what we're going for here. Yeah? Yep. That original look. Yeah, it looks, it looks completely stock. Yeah. So, go ahead and fire it up. I want, I bet you people want to hear this thing run and see it. 77 C10 44. Fire up. And quiet. We're going to shut the hood on this thing and uh, we're going to take a little bit of a walk around and then go for a ride. Oh, look at that original thing. What color is this thing anyway? Uh, I think. This is the saddle, and I forget the color of this, the dark brown. Yeah, yeah, it looks really good. It's a metallic too, isn't it? I believe so. Now, let's walk around to the sunny side so we can get the full effect here. Do you have dual exhaust or single? Yeah, dual exhaust, stock exhaust. Oh wow, they came stock with duals? Yeah. Now check it out. I know the truck didn't come with these, but those are original. American Racing S200 wheels, and they look like they're brand new, but they're vintage. I never see them in this kind of condition. What size are they? Uh, they're 15 by 10s. Wow, the 15 by 10s are worth a mint, and in this kind of condition, you just never see it. So, where'd those come from, man? I gotta know. Uh, those came from a friend from school. Their dad had those wheels, and I bought them off him because he also had a C10, the same uh, body style as this. Probably took them off way back in the day because uh, they look literally they look like new. 
Yeah, I'm guessing so. Just stored inside for that long. Yeah. So there you go, S200s with, uh, I would say, a 275, 60, 15 tire all the way around. And it's got 15 by 10s in the front. Did you know the 10s fit in the front? Uh, well, from a few people we heard that they would fit in the front and they had it on the same truck, so we knew that they would fit. You know what, Tony? What? Hop in, man. You All right. Take me for a ride. I've never actually had a ride in this truck. I've you brought it over every time you've come over, but I've I've never been in it. I don't think I have. Have I? I don't think so. This will be the first ride. Okay. Let me uh, let me just give a little bit of an interior view. Okay. Those are all original door panels in, uh, well, you can say brand new condition. This is the original dash. Once again, I'm gonna just to get a little look-see. It's like brand new. And you can see it has air conditioning ducts and uh, an aftermarket tachometer added in there. Looks like a tilt wheel, and we've got protection over the seats. Yep. You don't want these puppies. You don't want my dirty ass like sitting on your seats, do you? Yeah, mine either. I know. Uh, we've been wrenching all day. Tony kicked ass. He got a lot done today. Yeah. So. Oops. I resealed it all. See, so I slam it hard. Yeah. I think I had it about time. Yeah. There we go. Oh no. Really? Are you kidding me? Power windows? And power locks. This is like fully decked out. Oh yeah, fully decked out. It's a Silverado trim. No, That's your old you man didn't mess around. He nope. Didn't, he didn't get the roll up windows. No. He didn't get the push down locks. No, he got the power. Yeah. Yep. Wow, that's really rare in these trucks, actually. Yeah. All right, pop this thing in gear. Let's uh, hit the road out here. Man, I hate to get your car dirty, but this is kind of like a dirt road here on this part. Yeah. It's not my fault. This is supposed to be a paved road. Man, it's quiet in here. A man can have a conversation in here. That's right. Look at all these dogs. I actually dislike these dogs. You can run them over at will. All right. Yeah. No, we wouldn't do that. We, we'd never hurt a dog. So, yeah, it's really smooth. The suspension's pretty nice, too. Yeah, it's got that nice flow to it. It does. Yeah. It's not harsh whatsoever. No. Man, you'd never mistake this for a Dodge. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> so, here we go. Yeah, check out the shine on that hood. That was one week of polishing. Yeah, sometimes it's too bright and it blinds me, so I got the sunglasses. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe one day you'll bring me back my buffers and uh, polish it on by what's left of it. But you probably drank it all anyway. Yeah, most of it's gone, but I'll bring you back your grinder and pads. Yeah. Yeah. So, the 454 is just unbelievably smooth and no doubt Turbo 400 three-speed automatic transmission. Yeah, got a little oh. shift kit in it. Did you put a shift kit in it? Yeah. I think my dad already had it in it from back in the day. Really? So, yeah. Oh, and if you want to see what's overhead, check it out. You know, like these kind of headliners are usually in your face, but not on this truck. Nope. It's all still hanging in there like a different factory. Yeah. Yeah, real nice. So, Basically, I, I really think you would have a hard time finding a truck in this condition. Um, you lucked out, bro. Yeah, I know. I'm really lucky that my dad had a space to keep it inside for all these years. Yeah, at your grandma's? How long was it yeah. at your grandma's garage? Uh, so it was parked at my grandma's in 2007. Wow. Yeah, so around 15 years. Wow. 2007, though, your dad had this thing uh, on the road for a long time then. Yeah. It's a long time for an original engine, I'd say. Yeah. Now, I'm looking at that fuel gauge. It's like running on empty. Is that accurate? Oh, yeah, that's accurate. I replaced <laughs> the sending units. Oh, really? Don't worry, we got another full tank of gas here. Oh, yeah. it's got the dual tanks. Oh, yeah. And it works? Yeah. Well, of course it does. Everything on this truck works. Yeah. You wouldn't have it any other way, would you? No. Oh, and check it out. Like, these trucks had the antenna. It was a fine wire. 
in the windshield. I don't know what happens if you replace the windshield, if you get that wire or not, or if you just don't have radio reception after that. Well, actually, we had to get this windshield replaced like two weeks ago. Oh, really? Yeah, so this little nub just pops off, and they replace the windshield. You just gotta oh, okay. tell the people what you want, and they'll get you the wire in the windshield so you can still have your AM and FM radio. Does it work? Oh, yeah, it works. We got 1041 here. You know what? It's just that 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 dash speaker just kind of brings back memories, man. Because that's what you used to have back yeah. in the day. You have the dash speaker. You didn't have the, the big funk stereo with with the booming bass. No, you had that right there, right on the dashboard. You had a speaker and. You had this. You had the radio with two knobs, not a bunch of buttons, or even worse, a touch screen that just confuses you. You turn the knob to turn it on, and you turn the other knob to tune it. That's all there is to it. Yeah. Very simple. Yeah. yeah. I like it simple. Yeah. All right. We're on the home stretch. Look at that. What could be better? You hear that quadrant jet? That's exactly what these trucks are like. Because this is basically a time capsule. You know? Honestly. And and it's so it's super smooth. The yeah. suspension on this thing's incredible. Yeah, I really like the way it drives. It's yeah. Just, How's the steering and stuff like that? Is it tight? Steering's tight. You know, it's going down the freeway at 70 miles an hour. It goes straight fine. Yeah. Yeah. 70 miles an hour is the speed limit, so you're okay. Yeah. Never go over. No. You don't want to because then you can get in trouble. Even though I was doing like 140 in my C5 on the freeway the other day. <laughs> <laughs> but there you go. And I think with this, I'm going to conclude your visit with this incredibly original and super nice 77 Chevy C10 Silverado. Thanks a lot, Tony. Oh yeah, no problem. I appreciate the ride. Yeah. And I can see from the smile on your face that you really like this truck. Oh yeah, yeah. I love it. Yeah, it's super cool. All right, man, yeah. check you out. Talk to you all later.